This is an example of the multi-body dynamic system. It's a McPherson strut steering mechanism for the front wheel of a vehicle. This is a tire. And this is the steering rack that turns the wheel left and right. And a bouncing force is applied to the base of the tire to move it up and down. The system is an assembly of parts, for example the wheel, the upper part of the strut, bottom part of the strut, the tie rod, the A-arm, and the steering rack. And on each part are markers defining specific points on the part. And parts are then connected by joints so, for example, this marker is connected to that marker with a translational joint, meaning that this joint can only move in translation. This joint is a universal joint, and this one is a spherical joint. Besides joints, there are forces. So, there's a spring force between these two markers and a damper force between these two markers, and then there's a force of the ground onto the tire. And there are motion statements or actuators that prescribe motion for the joints. We now start the simulator. We select the previous input state. We set the start time, end time, the output time, and the error tolerance. The differential equations for the parts and forces are derived. The constraint equations for the joints and motions are derived. And these equations are solved using a differential algebraic equation solver. The results of the simulation are recorded and animated. It is now possible to interrogate the simulation. For example, we will look at the force in the steering rack. We select time for the x-axis and the force in the y-axis. And this is a plot of the force versus time in the steering rack. The author hopes that this demonstrates his capability to perform dynamic simulation. The general principles of dynamic simulation can be applied to process plans too.